folks, though, are still alive, and they face off against the Patriots this afternoon at MetLife Stadium. Joining us this morning, John Strickland from that other pregame show on the CBS Sports Network to talk a little football. Welcome back. Thanks a lot. I love being here. So let's start with the Jets. Okay. Um, so kind of a rematch because they lost to the Patriots earlier in the season. What are you thinking today? What's the... Uh... So this is a big game, and it means it's almost basically a playoff game mm -hmm. for the Jets. They've got to yep. win to stay alive. Yeah. And you've got the Patriots who already clinched a playoff spot. But the Jets are so hot right now. Mm -hmm. Ryan Fitzpatrick is playing the best football of his career right now. Right. And, you know, if you had said earlier in the season when Geno Smith went down that the Jets would be 9-5 and five with a chance to make the playoffs, you probably would have said, no way, you're crazy. But here the Jets are sitting on a, sitting on a spot, basically, if they win this game, they're still alive, and they could be in the playoffs. And the last time they played the Patriots, it was a cl I mean, they lost, but it was a close game. Yeah. And Darrell Rivas was saying that really kind of, it, it was kind of a little bit of a turning point in the season. It, they've learned from it, and so it's kind of a rematch. I mean, they it is a rematch. They could hang with right. the champs. They could play with the big boys. And here's the thing. The Patriots are also banged up, mm -hmm. and the Jets are riding high. So... These two teams are coming in here in different situations, and I really like the Jets' chances with momentum they're riding right now. I really think they can take this game. Do you think that they're going to get into the playoffs? Okay, so they need some help. And right. here's the issue. They don't control their own destiny. Even if they win their last two games, they still need help from the other two teams. Here's the playoff situation. They are right now the same record as the Steelers mm -hmm. and the Chiefs. They need one of those two teams to lose a game, and the Jets have to win out in order for the Jets to make the So it's Patriots today, and it's the Bills next week. Exactly. Which should be fun. Yeah. All right, let's switch gears and talk about the Giants. Uh, so many fans, do we have to? I know. Do we have to? Unfortunately, waking up really disappointed, right. totally out of playoff contention. They take on the Vikings tonight. It hasn't been a good, obviously, no. it's not been a good season for the Giants. No, it, it has been a mess. With the Redskins win last night, it officially eliminated the Giants from the playoffs. <laughs> I wouldn't say this game is totally meaningless, though, because... Tom Coughlin hasn't had the best season. This is now the fourth year in a row the Giants have not made the playoffs. So he actually does need to win this game. A lot of people are saying he might not have his job next season. So he has to have a strong performance against the Vikings tonight. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. also, yeah. he's not going to play in this game. Right. He would have been the scapegoat if the, if the Redskins had lost and the Giants needed this win. You know, a lot of blame could have been put on his shoulders. So now he's probably breathing a sigh of relief because he has been suspended for mm -hmm. this game because of all the crazy antics like right. his last week's game. Um, so he actually is let off the hook. I mean, the thing that just, I mean, it stinks. It goes without saying so many games this season, they should have won the yeah. Giants. They had so many chances, mm -hmm. but it's, a, I mean, I think last week just kind of summed up their season. You know, right. you've got Odell Beckham Jr. just and going Josh at Norman, everybody right. on the field. And frankly, he should have been thrown out of the game. Mm -hmm. And even, even the head of the official said after the game, you know, the officials kind of blew it. They yeah. really should have done something to get control of that situation. Um, but you also have to look at the coaching staff. How do you let something like that happen every single play? It was kind of a mess. All right, really quickly, a couple seconds. What else do you have coming up on the show today? All right, great really show. Quick. We're going to break down the rest of the playoff implications. We're also going to break down the MVP matchup. Okay. Cam Newton, undefeated team. Also, fantasy, this is championship week. I'm going to give you your sleepers if you need some help. <laughs> Very nice, John. Thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate you coming down. And don't forget that other pregame show kicks off at 9 a.m. on the CBS Sports Network. And, of course, the Jets take on the Patriots right here on CBS 2 beginning at 1 p.m. And the time now is 7.51. Entertaining this New Year's? Well, Brandon Fay is here with a few tasty ideas.